You got on this page because you are perhaps looking for a fix for error 0 exc 0 d on your computer. Well, I am going to offer a couple of quick fixes that you can easily follow. If you feel confident about your technical know-how you can also check out the geek fixes below. Make sure you watch the entire video, and understand the instructions first before jumping into performing any of them. This is a collection of tried and tested troubleshooting steps compiled from forums and threads and Microsoft itself. You're welcome. The SOD also known as the blue screen of death, also called a stop error, is the screen that you see when your Windows computer confronts a problem and cannot repair it automatically. Back in the Windows XP days, BSODs are intimidating and rather scary for the common user with technical jargon splattered across the screen. Nowadays, BSODs are much simpler and friendlier looking. For Windows 10, it's a screen with a sad face and an error code that you can search online for possible fixes. The SOD causes can be as simple as a faulty driver, incompatible software, or as complex as a corrupted registry or malfunctioning hardware part. Today, we are going to focus on the error code 0 ex d This error message is as follows. The BCD or the boot configuration data is like a menu that lists down all the events that happen as the computer tries to load the operating system. If one of these events gets damaged, the computer won't be able to complete the loading process. Check out these three easy fixes any regular user can interpret followed by some progressive troubleshooting for the more advanced users. Here are the quick fixes. If your PC encounters a blue screen error, it prevents your computer from booting up to your home screen. In the rare cases that it still can, run any of the quick fixes below. Number 1. Bad driver. If you recently installed a new driver before encountering the stop error, do these simple steps. Click on the start icon on the bottom left of your screen. On the search box type devmgmt.msc. It will open the device manager box and it will show you the list of all the drivers installed on your computer. Look for the particular driver that you recently installed. Right click on it and choose update driver and restart. If it doesn't work, try the uninstall driver option. Reinstall the driver from a trusted source and make sure it doesn't get interrupted in the process. Number 2. System File Checker. Scan and fix faulty system files through these easy steps. Open the command prompt box by typing cmd on the search box. Once the cmd icon shows on the list, right click on it and choose run as administrator. On the black box that will pop up, Type SFC slash scan now and hit enter on your keyboard. Restart your PC once the scan completes. Number 3. Scan for malware. Malicious software can cause all sorts of errors on your PC including BSODs. Make sure to run a full system scan using your antivirus software. Alternatively, you can also open Windows Security also called Windows Defender for previous versions of Windows 10, and run a scan through it. Make sure that it is turned on first and follow the steps from Microsoft we will link below. Click on the Start icon and look for Settings. Choose Update and Security and on the left, Windows Defender. A dialog box will pop up, choose Open Windows Defender Security Center. On the next window that will open, choose the shield icon button virus and threat protection. You can choose the quick scan or go to the advanced scan and choose from offline scan, custom scan, or full scan. Take note that a full system scan can take hours to complete depending on how many files you have stored on your PC. Geek Fixes The following steps are done in the advanced options screen. 
it's the screen that your computer redirects to whenever it experiences issues. If it doesn't open automatically, try to prompt it by restarting your PC three to four times. Just press and hold the power button to shut it down. If that won't work, then you will need the installation DVD, if you purchased a retail copy. If your OS came pre-installed on your PC, or you can't locate your installation disk anymore, create a bootable device by following the steps from Microsoft linked below in the description. Number 4. Startup Repair. Startup Repair automatically runs and fixes any issues your PC encounters. If it didn't run automatically, do it manually by choosing Startup Repair on the Advanced Options menu. Number 5. System Restore. Choose System Restore to return to a specific time or date when you haven't encountered the error yet. This also helps you isolate the cause of the BSOD because restore points are triggered by any changes done on your PC. Note that this step is not going to work if you don't have any restore points saved or if system restore is turned off on your computer. Number 6. Command Prompt. Choose Command Prompt and type the following commands to mend the boot configuration data. Corrupted BCD is the most crucial factor of the stop error 0exe 0000000d. Type boot rec slash fix MBR and hit enter on your keyboard. Once done, it will say the operation was completed successfully. Wait for that to appear before typing the next command. Type boot rec slash fix boot and hit enter. Type PC edit slash export C colon backslash BCD underscore backup to export backup. Type a trib C colon backslash boot backslash BCD HRS and hit enter. Type ren C colon backslash boot backslash BCD BCD dot old and hit enter. Type boot rec slash rebuild BCD and hit enter. When prompted to add the installation to the boot list, press the letter A on your keyboard. Once done, close the command prompt window, turn off your computer and turn it back on after one minute. When all else fails, the error code 0 exe 0000000d could imply degraded operating system files or deteriorated hardware. All of the steps above dealt with the software part of the problem. If you have important files on your PC, Make sure to back them up first before proceeding to these next steps. Number 7. Reinstall OS. Installing a fresh copy of Windows will eliminate all software problems on your computer. You can use your installation disk or the bootable device by downloading a disk image for Windows 10 which we will also link below. Choose install now once you boot from the disk slash USB drive and follow the on-screen instructions. Number 8. Replace hard drive. If you have reinstalled the OS already and still go back to the same error code, then it all boils down to the hardware. The BCD is in the hard drive so it means a broken drive at this point and needs a replacement. If you are using a regular hard drive, opt for a solid state drive, SSD, this time. Without any moving parts, an SSD is a sturdier alternative. Another option is to try out the tool Restoro. This tool automatically scans and diagnoses computer errors and issues, then repairs them making most computer issues an easy fix without the headaches. I'll drop a link below in the description. If you found this video on how to fix error code 0 exe0000000d helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we release more videos similar to this one. Thanks for watching.